One morning, Miffy received a postcard from her good friend Boris Bear. Boris lived in a wooden house he had built all by himself. It was right in the middle of the forest. The postcard showed a beautiful picture of his house. On the other side, Boris wrote, Dear Miffy, please come and visit me. I would like you to help me pick blueberries. The forest is full of blueberries at this time of year. Miffy thought that would be a fun thing to do. So she asked Mother Bunny if she could visit Boris and pick some blueberries. Yes, but you must be very careful. Stay on the forest path so you won't get lost. Oh, don't worry, Mother. I know the way. Her mother said, I'll pack a basket of sandwiches so you and Boris can have a nice picnic to go with the blueberries you pick. Be careful, Miffy's mother said again as she waved goodbye to Miffy. Miffy walked into the forest. She heard birds singing. She smelt lovely flowers. She saw many colourful butterflies flitting this way and that. The forest was full of wonderful things to see, smell and hear. She looked to the right. She looked to the left. She looked up. She looked all around. Suddenly, she looked straight ahead and there was Boris's house. Boris came out to greet her. Hello, Miffy. I'm so happy you could come. There are so many delicious blueberries to pick in the forest. They picked and picked. Soon their baskets were full of fresh ripe blueberries and their stomachs were also full of fresh ripe blueberries and sandwiches too. They had a wonderful time. Soon it began to get a little dark. Oh, said Miffy, it's time for me to go home. Do you think you can find your way? asked Boris. He was a little worried that Miffy might get lost. Don't worry, Boris. I know the way, said Miffy. And she started to walk home with her basket full of blueberries. But it started to get darker and darker. Miffy looked to the left. She looked to the right. But all of the trees looked the same. I'm afraid I am lost after all, said Miffy. No, said Boris. You're not lost. I shall show you the way out. Miffy was pleased to see that Boris had been following her on her way home. He walked with her all the way to the edge of the forest. Here we are said Boris. There is your little house. Now you can find your way home by yourself. Miffy waved goodbye to Boris and she thought, I'm so glad to have such a good friend. Miffy walked into the forest. She heard birds singing. She smelt lovely flowers. She saw many colourful butterflies flitting this way and that. The forest was full of wonderful things to see, smell and hear. She looked to the right. She looked to the left. She looked up. She looked all around. Suddenly, she looked straight ahead and there was Boris's house. 
Boris came out to greet her. Hello, Miffy. I'm so happy you could come. There are so many delicious blueberries to pick in the forest. They picked and picked. Soon their baskets were full of fresh, ripe blueberries. And their stomachs were also full of fresh, ripe blueberries. And sandwiches too. They had a wonderful time. Soon it began to get a little dark. Oh, said Miffy, it's time for me to go home. Do you think you can find your way? asked Boris. He was a little worried that Miffy might get lost. Don't worry, Boris. I know the way, said Miffy. And she started to walk home with her basket full of blueberries. But it started to get darker and darker. Miffy looked to the left. She looked to the right. But all of the trees looked the same. I'm afraid I am lost after all, said Miffy. No, said Boris. You're not lost. I shall show you the way out. Miffy was pleased to see that Boris had been following her on her way home. He walked with her all the way to the edge of the forest. Here we are, said Boris. There is your little house. Now you can find your way home by yourself. Miffy waved goodbye to Boris. And she thought, I'm so glad to have such a good friend. <laughs> 